beautiful gate was designed by Cyrus, one of the founders here, and it was made right in town in Kanab, Utah, by one of the metal workers here. And we're going to go in today, we're going to look at different memorial stones because we're going to do that for our art class. I'm going to give you guys some ideas so that you can honor any pets that you have that have passed away. Hi everyone, we're at beautiful Angel's Rest. This is where we placed about 4,000 or more animals that have either lived here at Best Friends or were in our care when they passed away or animals from different members, um, people around the community and also a lot of staff animals. And as you can imagine, a lot of staff adopt animals from Best Friends, especially the special needs animals. We also have a lot of members and a lot of people um, around the world that will buy these wind chimes. And I remember 14 years ago when I first started here at Best Friends, um, the caretakers of Angel's Rest told me that every time they placed an animal in the ground, the wind chimes would start making noise. And even on the stillest day, uh, the wind would blow when they were placing the animals here. And I've placed three of my animals here, and every time we have the winds blow and the wind chimes. So it's really beautiful if you ever get a chance to come out here and visit. Um, I'm showing you Angel's Rest because we are going to be doing an art project where we're going to make a little stone and we're going to paint it as a memorial to an animal that you may have lost or maybe um, some of your friends or your grandparents have lost an animal and we will do a little stone art project to memorialize that. This is a huge area and the caretakers take good so take such good care of it. They keep all the spaces between all the headstones clear and raked. They make sure all the wind chimes get repaired if they start wearing out from the weather. This is where the horse memorial is. The horses are not laid to rest up here, but we do have memorials for them. All the un other animals are laid to rest up here, but because of their size, they are not brought up to this specific area. But as you can see, there's a lot of horse memorials. There's a lot of stones. We wanted to make sure that every Every animal that we had had a place up here in Angel's Rest because it's so beautiful. And once a month we do a blessing for all the animals that have passed. Here's a good example. There's a painted rock that says, Love Scotty. It's probably been out here a long time. And then a, a rainbow of memory rocks that someone has, pay, has placed here on the stone. Okay, I'm going to take you and show you a couple of other rocks, beautiful rocks that somebody had done. Right here. Look at that pretty one. Hi, welcome to the Memorial Stone painting class. Let's go ahead and pick a side of your rock that you want to paint. I think I'm going to paint. This side, or I think this side is the smoothest for me. So all I want you to do to start off with is paint a background color. You can paint white, pink, yellow, whatever color you want. I'm just going to put a white coat on to start with. And 
I'm just going to leave that side because it's a big flat side. So when you're done with the background color, rinse your brush and let it just sit for a minute to let it dry. And in the meantime, we can start thinking about what you want to draw for your memorial picture. Excuse me. Um, if you have a piece of white paper, I know we saw a couple of different things. Let's see here. We could, we could draw words, of course, like a name. Um, for example, my dog Opal is up at Angel's Landing or Overlook, Angel's Overlook is where she is and her name is Opal. I could do Angel Wings again. Um, what else could we do? I saw a flower. So a circle with about six petals usually. Six petals. Uh, what else? Stars. Hearts. Hearts are a good one. How about if we do a heart? How about if we do a heart um, and then when it dries you can take your Sharpie and you can put their name inside of it. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with the heart. So make sure you have, while well, we're still waiting for this to dry, let's make sure you have some pinks, some reds, you can of course do whatever color you want, but if you're gonna do your pinks and reds, let's do, I'm gonna do pink, hot pink, hot pink, light pink, and red. And then always put a, some white on your palette. Let's see still pretty tacky so let's wait a minute until that dries okay I think it's dry and we're gonna go ahead and paint a heart so if you want to pick a light color to begin with I'm gonna start with pink and whenever I do a heart I always do basically two circles you can usually get the two circles touching and about the right size. I'm going to add some dark pink to this because it's hard to see. Okay, so we got two hearts. And then just take those two hearts down, or the two circles, and bring them together. Okay. And then, depending on how bumpy your rock is, you might have to bring that brush around the edges to try to smooth it out a little bit. And I usually like to make one side darker than the other. So I'm gonna use my hot pink and make this side darker. I'm gonna try to use the end of my brush to get a nice edge down by the, down by the tip of it. And then a little pink on this side. Okay, 
So we've got our basic heart. While we're waiting for that to dry, I want you guys to find some sort of Sharpie or a very narrow brush, but I think a Sharpie would be easier to work with. It's like a black marker. So I'm gonna go grab a couple black markers. Okay, I've got two new black markers. This is a king size one. It has a pointed bullet point end and a chisel point. And then this Sharpie is just a chisel tip. And the chisel tip is pretty, pretty thick. Um, so I think I'm gonna use the bullet, which is kind of just a, a more pointed. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and outline here. And I noticed with Sharpies on paint, you wanna do really short little lines. And you can't use it if the paint's still wet because it'll ruin the marker. Again, just bringing it up. And can always add a little whimsy to it. So I'm going to bring tiny little lines with some hooks on it. The top here. And then maybe down here, just do a couple little circles. Okay. And then in the middle, I want to put Opal's name. So I'm going to do O, P, I don't know if I should do a small A or a big A. Do a big A. And a little L. Luckily, Opal has a very short name. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more little hearts here on the side. Maybe one up here. And then over here, I'm just gonna write love. And then if you want to fill in anything that you've painted, I'm going to get a really small brush. And I'm going to paint in these little hearts red. And I really don't even need to brush. I almost just need to, to touch right inside that heart. Barely touching. A little heart up here. And then if you have a little bit of white, go ahead and get a little touch of white and add a little highlight here like that. And you can add a touch on these teeny little hearts. At least on a couple of them. There you go. And then next time I go to Opal's Memorial, up at Angel's Overlook, I'll have a nice little memory memorial stone to put on her site. some pink dots in here. Maybe the O 
I'll fill up with a little pink. And we're all set. Thank you guys for joining us today. Okay, I've got two new black markers. This is a king size one. It has a pointed bullet point end and a chisel point. And then this Sharpie is just a chisel tip. And the chisel tip is pretty, pretty thick. Um, so I think I'm going to use the bullet, which is kind of just a, a more pointed. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and outline here. And I noticed with Sharpies on paint, you want to do really short little lines. And you can't use it if the paint's still wet because it'll ruin the marker. Again, just bringing it up. And can always add a little whimsy to it. So I'm going to bring tiny little lines with some hooks on it. The top here. And then maybe down here, just do a couple little circles. And then in the middle, I want to put Opal's name. So I'm going to do O, P, I don't know if I should do a small A or big A. Do a big A. And a little L. Luckily, Opal has a very short name. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more little hearts here on the side. Maybe one up here. And then over here, I'm just going to write love. And then if you want to fill in anything that you've painted, I'm going to get a really small brush. And I'm going to paint in these little hearts red. And I really don't even need to brush. I almost just need to, to touch right inside that heart. Barely touching. A little heart up here. And then if you have a little bit of white, go ahead and get a little touch of white and add a little highlight here like that. And you can add a touch on these teeny little hearts. At least on a couple of them. There you go. And then next time I go to Opal's Memorial, up at Angel's Overlook, I'll have a nice little memory memorial stone to put on her site. Some pink dots in here. Maybe the O I'll fill up with a little pink. And we're all set. Thank you guys for joining us today.